Good morning to our parishioners of Holy Name of Mary and to our Damien students, faculty, parents. We celebrate today the Feast of St. Damien de Wooster. Today commemorates the day that Father Damien entered the island of Molokai. We begin our prayers, we begin all prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we gather this morning to share word and sacrament, we take just a moment and recognize the times that we have been called to be servant, as Father Damien was servant, but we have rejected that call. We ask God's mercy, his love, and his forgiveness. And so we call out, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Together we give glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Father God of mercy, who gives us Saint Damien, a shining witness of love for the poorest and most abandoned, grant that by his intercession as faithful witnesses of the heart of your son Jesus, we too may be servants of the most needy and rejected. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus. And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, When a man has on the skin of his body a swelling, a scab, or a bright spot, and it becomes on the skin of his body like a leprous sore, then he shall be brought to Aaron, the priest, or one of the sons of the priests. The priest shall examine the sore or the skin on his body, and if the hair of the sore has turned white, and the sore appears to be deeper than the skin of the body, it is a leprous sore. Then the priest shall examine him and pronounce him unclean. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The response is, go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast in his kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out, Go out to all the world and tell the good news. A reading from the letters of St. Damien de Booster. I have accepted this disease as my particular cross. Divine Providence, having compassion on the unfortunate, has thought fit to look upon your unworthy servant to care for the spiritual needs as well as the well-known leprosy hospital that our government had to establish to preserve the whole archipelago from disease. 
Thus, it is in my role as pastor of an unusual parish of 800 <coughs> leopards, nearly half of whom who are now Catholics, that I take the liberty to write you these lines. Here I am in the midst of my lepers. They are so frightful to see, it is true, but they have souls redeemed at the price of the precious blood of our, of our divine Savior. He also in his divine charity consoled lepers. If I cannot cure them as he did, at least I can console them, and by the holy ministry, which in his goodness he has entrusted me, I hope that many among them, purified from the leprosy of the soul, will present themselves before his tribunal, prepared to enter the communion of the blessed. My chapel, which was too big in the first weeks I was here, has now become too small. Three weeks in a row, I have had to ask some of the older Christians to stand outside along the windows in order to give their places to the new corners or to, the fallen, to those who have fallen away and have rec returned to the catechumens of whom they are some. Even though I'm not a leper, I make myself a leper with the lepers. When I preach, I always use the expression, we lepers. Thus may I gain all for Christ as St. Paul did. As you know, it has been already quite the divine providence given to me to become a victim of this repugnant disease of ours. I hope to remain eternally grateful for this grace. It seems to me that this disease will shorten and narrow the way that will lead me to our dear homeland. And that hope, I have accepted this disease as my particular cross. I tried to bear it as did Simon of Cyrene, following in the footsteps of our divine master. Please assist me with your good prayers so as to obtain for me the strength and perseverance until I reach the summit of the cavalry. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. The good shepherd is the one who lays down his life for his sheep. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd is the one who lays down his life for his sheep. The hired man, since he is not the shepherd and the sheep do not belong to him, abandons the sheep and runs away as soon as he sees a wolf coming and then the wolf attacks and scatters the sheep. This is because he is only a hired man and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I lay down my very life for my sheep. And there are other sheep I have that are not of this fold, and these I have to lead as well. They too will listen to my voice, and there will be only one flock and one shepherd. The Father loves me because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me. I lay it down of my own free will. And as it is in my own power to lay it down, so it is in my power to take it up again. And this is the command that has been given by my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Certainly, Father Damien, St. Damien was an example of the Gospel we hear today, the Good Shepherd laying down his life. The ultimate is to lay down one's life for someone that you love. In the um, text that the freshmen are studying right now, the life of St. Damien, it begins talking about Father Damien as a hero. And we hear about heroes a lot nowadays, especially during this pandemic, the, the superheroes. Uh, there's a beautiful painting that I saw uh, that came online not too long ago. And it showed all the superheroes lined up on either side. And down the center were coming the doctors and the nurses. And the superheroes were bowing to them. Huh? There's a story of um, a little boy who, because he had contracted the uh, uh, virus, 
became uh, infected and then had cardiac arrest, his older brother came to his aid by applying um, resuscitation to him. He was a Boy Scout, a hero. That boy will be a hero, his brother forever. This concept of a hero, one for us to ponder. The example um, that Damien was, in fact, a hero for the people. We are called, my dear brothers and sisters, to be hero in the time and place that we are today. We are quarantined, and in that quarantined space, wherever we are, whoever we are with, we are called to be heroes to our family, our brothers and sisters. That is the example that Jesus gives us as the Good Shepherd. That is the example that Father Damien gives us, to be hero in your particular place, circumstance, and time. St. Damien, pray for us. My dear brothers and sisters, filled with Easter joy, let us pray now earnestly to God that he who graciously listens to our prayers and supplications of his beloved Son may now be pleased to look upon us in our lowliness. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. For the shepherds of our souls, that they may have the strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to them by the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole world, that they may truly know the peace given to Christ, the risen Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters who suffer with the COVID-19 virus, that their sorrow and pain may be turned into gladness, which no one can take from them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own community, the Holy Name, Damien High School, students, parents, teachers, and administrative staff, that they may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That, they, that he may be pleased to admit forever in the company of the saints his deceased servants, James Deneen and Cherie Janine Karnokin, mother of Junior Travis Karnokin, who once through baptism received the seed of eternal life. Let us pray to the world. Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the graduating senior class of 2020, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we know you hear our prayer. We ask you hear them today through the intercession of St. Damien. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Bless Lord, wash me from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that this, our sacrifice, mine and yours, will be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all the holy church. Lord, look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer. Almighty God, on this feast day of St. Damien, and grant that we, who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion, may imitate what we now do through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. And let us together give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment 
and the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers and the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks and praise, Father. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was nearly ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks and praise, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose Gomez, our Bishop, all bishops, religious, and clergy, remember also all of our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Damien, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Taught by our Savior's command, informed by the very word of God, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus, the risen Lord, be with you always. Amen. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, Jesus the risen Lord, who takes away the sin of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith which St. Damien never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow your heads and pray God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve our God and one another. Thanks. 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 St. Damien, you minister to those in despair and isolation. I call upon you to open my heart and mind, to care for the poor, the sick, the weary, and those forgotten. To sow upon me the inner strength of faith and unconditional compassion to be a disciple of Christ. As a Spartan, I come before you, a humble servant of God. Bless me with the spirit of your love, and instill in me the touch of healing and grace as you yourself possessed. Amen. Amen. St. Damien, pray, pray for us. For us.